Hi guys, welcome to Javed from the Coin. I'm doing another 50p bag for a new episode. So let's start with this bag. Let's go. First bag. And I hope everyone is safe and well. Uh, set up a bit the, the position. Here we go. And first one Sherlock Holmes. Jeremy Fisher, 2017. Paddington of St. Paul. So I hope everyone is safe and well and doing uh, routinely their jobs again. So I had a bit bad news last week and that is this could be like one of the last episodes of mine and that is because uh, there was someone at the bank who was saying can't take any more 50 bees or coins uh, anymore so I don't know if that is right uh, because she told me she might need to contact the management and see what they say oh we got Flopsy Bunny been after a while Flopsy Bunny 2018 obviously always to keep and Peter Rabbit of 2018 so yeah uh, I'm not sure yet, uh, I will go tomorrow uh, back to the bank, they're supposed to call me, but they didn't, so I think everything, sh everything should be fine, but uh, because I told her I got already arrangement uh, with someone at the bank, so she can confirm with her and then talk to the manager, so she spoke already. Uh, we got Benjamin Bunny. So I have to see what they're gonna say tomorrow. They might say I refuse this, so I don't know. Sherlock Holmes. So I have to wait and see what they say tomorrow, actually. And I don't know who that person was. It's like I've not seen her before, but. Uh, branch or she might not walk on the days which I was doing so I don't know but in the last week Tuesday she was there so I'm not sure what the story behind it because there was another person who I know and he tried already to stop me and I couldn't uh, public library so there was a uh, Asian person who tried to stop like I can't take our coins but he was failed playing on the St. Paul again and that person was as well there so I don't know if she spoke to him or what the story was um, so I got deal with someone already there so I don't expect it's gonna be a problem but if it is then I won't be able to do coin hunts anymore. Paying, uh, Peter Rabbit, Tale of Peter Rabbit. 
so I have to see tomorrow what happens. And my part share with you guys uh, what's going on. Because the bank was my last hope, uh, which I'm getting from. So. It was a bit shocking for me. I did explain to her, I got already deal with someone. And Tom Kitten, 2017. And I did expect to get call from them uh, this week, uh, but I didn't get any. So, so far I think it should be fine. But you never know; they might tell me at the branch. And I go to collect new bags. Because she was explaining, and we got Brexit going. Sorry for that. Uh, so she was explaining it's because of it's not busy at the moment. The banks and Sherlock Holmes again. So the banks are not busy as usual, and businesses are not taking that much coins anymore. And I'm the only one who is exchanging. So that could be the reason what she was saying. Uh, obviously, and then because of the COVID 19, she said it wasn't like uh, good to do this and this, that. Uh, Benjamin Money again, but uh, the thing is, I've been doing for a while now, so even in COVID 19, 2016, Team GB. Jeremy Fisher again So it would be weird like refusing suddenly because of that reason so I do expect uh, That explanation tomorrow if they refuse it instead of saying oh, we can't give you Because because of COVID-19 but it isn't the real reason uh, the reason is because there's no businesses who are taking change and they are not ordering much coins so the problem for them is like they have to reuse bags yeah, we got olympic wheelchair rugby or basketball i think it's rugby and so i have to see uh, what they're gonna say actually it's gonna be funny because that day when uh, she asked me there were three people behind me and I was exp trying to explain her that I already uh, sorted it out and someone already tried to stop me actually and they failed because obviously I had a deal and because of that deal with the person who's uh, always at the back there she told me if someone else is gonna trouble you just let me know and she will sorry yeah so i mentioned her last week as well so i told her to speak to that person and then see what she's saying about it sherlock holmes again and she said yeah i will talk to her and then speak to the manager and paying down at the London Tower. So yeah, in case I don't know, I would say from hundred percent and maybe three percent, or at least twenty percent chance, like they refuse it and then say, yeah, we can't give you anymore. And people sect. And it could be like if there's 
change of management or something then it might just start refusing and then it would would go like higher chance like the when they say oh we can't give you but i think the previous management knows me so they wouldn't refuse me for not giving me coins and the funny thing is the person who was standing there she says if we give you like this we have to charge you a hundred pound every time <laughs> i was nearly uh, smiling at her but i thought no mind hundred pound for taking uh, your own money and 50 piece uh, that would be funny painting at london tower because I know when you got business account you get charged, but come on, you don't get charged hundred pound. If that was the case, no one would take change uh, from the bank. They charge you about like every transaction. I think four pound or something. And it doesn't matter how many coins you take. So I know she was a bit trying to stop the public library. She thought it might work like that if I scared them, like saying, oh, you, we need to charge £100 if you take like this. But she doesn't know, probably I haven't been a long time there and been getting coins. So let's see. So that was the update, kind of uh, like what's going on. Uh, I might struggling for getting coins, but public library again. Because I think last year someone tried as well and then they failed because uh, so I had arrangement with the bank so even though I don't have business account, it still allowed me to get coins. And most probably I'm the only one who is getting from them, so it shouldn't be that big problem. Public library again. Uh, Victoria Cross the Meadow. So in case if I don't get coins, uh, most probably this episode is going to be the last episode of 50p. I will do 10p's as well episode, but that will be before this uploaded. Uh, so this will be then the last episode in case if they don't get any coins, uh, they refuse it or temporarily if they tell me to not get the coins. So I have to see what they will say. Because I did left my number with her and the name. So that after she speaks to the manager or something higher. And then she would get in touch with me. But she didn't. So I don't know. So I expect everything should be fine. But you never know. Brexit going. Victoria Cross the Ronegect. So 
Close. So it could be like uh, the new one, like this, quite shiny. So if it's from the set, it might got like 2007 here, but then a uh, different year here, 2019, I think was it. So it could be from that set. So just in case, check that as well. Because it could be someone takes it out from the set and spends it. And that is like a re-released -re -re uh, version of that, Scouts. And obviously this one as well, Roger Bannister. They all got re-released. With a diff uh, different year. Uh, we got AU stars. And that's obviously this. This is when they entered it and this is now when they exited. So AU stars and then Brexit. So if you guys watch this, uh, let me know what you think about that. Uh, what I just said about the link. Public library. Another one. So quite a lot the last three bags if you watch this far thank you so much i hope you guys enjoy watching my videos and don't forget to hit thumbs up uh, obviously much appreciate it and the territory that's awesome This is Jill Walter, 2009. We'll have to see if I got that. Basketball, 2011. So obviously this for uh, the wheelchair rugby, Lopsy Bunny, Gibraltar uh, capture and basketball. They're gonna go in my spares. Uh, obviously I most probably got them. But I keep uh, territories and then that Flopsy Bunny obviously is gonna go in price and for the future of them to have it is great. This is gonna be harder to find then. Another public library, it was like quite a lot public library. So this last bag, if you watched this far, thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy watching it and share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And obviously it's going here below, information. And if you like to contact me, check my about section. And the last one is Taylor Peter Rabbit. That's it. 
So that's all for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, so obviously this four are gonna go in spares if they are not needed in the oven. There you go. So Flopsy Bunny and Peter Rebel of 2018, I would say keep it. Uh, obviously they got some value now, but in future they could go up. And then Olympics are obviously always hard to get them, so it's nice to keep them. This I don't see much either, so it's nice to have that. I've seen a few times basketball, so this is more rare than that. And that's it. Jim will arrive to check in my territories. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have a nice week. And check my next episode if uh, everything goes fine. Then there will be new episode after this. If not, then that means I do not have the coins. I might make a new video or anything uh, to upload about what postage I have and I might update you guys with that about the coins uh, if I didn't get it or I did get so it depends on it but I hope to see you guys in next episode and let's hope for good thank you for all and bye for now